guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela. And welcome back to hashtag uh, Deacon Walk 2023. So I am extremely late. Today is 9-7. We changed over to Virgin, Virgo Deacon 2 on the 2nd, which was my birthday. Um, <clears throat> and I've just been super busy. And I went camping for the weekend on my birthday weekend and a whole bunch of other stuff. And... I've been busy. Um, my son's moving out. He's 24, finally moving out of my house um, this weekend. Um, so, yeah, there's been a lot of going on. I haven't abandoned you guys with the Deacon Walk, but um, I just didn't find it a priority. And I find that interesting that this is the first time I didn't find it a priority when it's my birthday Deacon, which is weird. I'm actually right on the cusp of the birthday Deacon, so, I, I felt more drawn to Virgo Deacon 1, and I did a whole thing on it, uh, than I do Virgo Deacon 2. However, um, after spending the last couple of days of reading the book on Virgo Deacon 2, um, <clears throat> I feel a little closer to it now. <clears throat> so, for the card, um, and I didn't even get my other book out. Um, hold on a second. So, I had another folder. I got this one uh first but this was only for the last half of the year and i'm like that makes no sense so i got a different one and now it's broke this one actually has a um clasp um so i transferred all my stuff for the rest of the deacon into this uh the rest of the deacons into this um so they're kind of split up into two notebooks but this is the deacon wheel that i printed off when i first started my deacon walk um when we started with aries then we went to taurus Gemini, Cancer, Leo, and now we're in Virgo. Um, and so for the Deacon 2, it is the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Discs, Nine of Coins, whatever. Um, and it is a mutable sign. <laughs> um, I'm not getting on all that. Um, I'll post her, Marlena Teresa's video below. She explains all that in detail. I just like showing off cards and giving you my take on what I felt with the cards. So... It starts uh, September 2nd uh, to the 11th, um, so I'm right in the middle there. Um, the second is my birthday, and it, it, it see, the, the Deacon 1 was the Eight of Pentacles, and it ends on September 2nd, so I'm literally on the cusp here, <laughs> uh, my birthday is. So I felt, I did feel more drawn to Deacon 1 um, until I started reading all the information in 36 Secrets by T. Susan Chang, which we were, we're all reading, I think. Um, so the Nine of Pentacles is the card, um, and I love this deck here. We got the sign for Earth and then the Virgo symbol. Um, gives you upright and reverse meanings, and then if it's a yes or no card, this is a yes card, clearly. Um, <clears throat> I see, I always see the Nine of Pentacles as having abundance. You have everything you need and then some. And you know that. You feel that inside of you. And um, I just always always felt disconnected from that. Because I've always been poor. Always <laughs> been poor. I've always struggled to even get in to ends meet at this point. Um, so I just, I've never really connected with this card. Um, and then the, <clears throat> it is <clears throat> Venus in Virgo and the Virgo is the hermit because we already established from Virgo one that the hermit is the corresponding card to Virgo, but the, uh, Venus, uh, which we discovered before in different deacons or different astrology signs is the Empress. And so I've always struggled to even, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I just said it here, connect with the Empress card as well. So I just find it interesting that this is supposedly my deacon, and yet I don't feel connected to two of the three cards that are sitting there. I've always been a hermit, always. So I've always connected to the hermit. I am the very definition of a hermit. Um, and that could be why I feel so drained right now, because I've done a lot of stuff the last few days. My birthday, went camping, did all this stuff. Um, and I'm just not normally, I, I needed the outdoors, um, but I also needed solitude at the same time. And I got kind of both of those, um, on my birthday, which I desperately needed. <laughs> 
desperately. Uh, but then it's been hustle and bustle since then. And it just kind of, kind of drains me when I'm around a lot of people. Um, so I wanted to read to you actually before that, I'm going to show you. So I use this deck and then I also use the journey of the sacred bee because it is the Thoth version. So we have the nine of disc and the keyword is gain. And then we have the empress here and it's got the, uh, Venus sign here. And then we have Virgo, which is my, one of my favorite, her uh, hermits because he looks like a hippie. I love it. Um, and he's got the, uh, symbol here for Virgo. Really pretty. And then I wanted to show you guys from my soul cats, which I did not realize until the other day, the empress and the soul cats has the Virgo or the Venus symbol on her forehead. And I'm like, well, I had no idea. I used this, the crap out of this deck and I've never noticed that. But I love all the animals and the flowers here. And then we have the nine of pentacles here. And then we have the hermit here, which I love. I love this deck. Love it. And so I just thought, because I, I bought a lot of earthy animal decks in August preparing for my birthday. Um, and this deck is part of that. It, it, it I bought it last year, but this deck is another one of those. It's animal deck. It's got a lot of leaves and grass and earthy things. And it's an Adam Oler's artwork deck which is mass market um and you know adam oler's by oak ash and embers or smoke ash and sm oh my God, smoke ash and embers oak ash and thorn and the new thistle down that i just got the other day and did a walkthrough on um so yeah i had to throw this deck in there because it's, it's stunning so i got a lot to read to you on virgo and it's funny because the first thing i noticed with this um deacon uh was there's very few pages there's only like three pages and i'm like what because yours are usually at least six and there's not that many pages so i'm going to read to you quite a bit of stuff here which i found interesting and gave me a different take on the nine of pentacles the empress those two cards that i really really don't connect with <clears throat> so it says um and it's funny because the she titles each one of the, uh, the, the, these cards. So the nine of pentacles in this, uh, deacon is perfection alone. And I find that very interesting. And you're going to see why here in a minute when I start reading this, I never thought of this. And I'm like, this is what bonds me to the nine of pentacles and the empress because I am that. <laughs> and it ties into the hermit because he's alone. Um, in the eight of pentacles, we saw an artisan deeply engrossed in the inner workings of his task. And the nine, our lady faces us like a museum tour guide. I'm going to go back to her or a show, uh, host on QBC. She poses gracefully as if to point out first one exquisite feature and then another. We are uh, invited to appreciate each polished surface. Not least of all, that of the little empress herself. And they call her the little empress. And then you see later that the bird, they consider the little hermit, which ties the empress and the hermit together with the deacon, which is amazing. Um, unlike the eight of pentacles, the nine is excruciatingly self-conscious. If you adopt her posture for a moment, neck lifted, chin tilted, just so, three-quarter profile, you may find yourself working wondering wh who exactly you are putting yourself on display for and i'm like holy crap because i've thought this many times i've had to act a certain way growing up in an abusive home you adopt a certain persona that you put out to the world and for the longest time i had this specific persona that nobody saw what was underneath and i think i still carry that to this day part of that with me and it's just it blew my mind and i'm like what's happening <laughs> The sequence from 8 to 9 to 10 of Pentacles in one of progressive encasement. A thorough line amongst the deacon commentators is the notion of covering, which is expressed in two ways as figures covered in hair and covered in distinct and separate layers of clothing, silk, leather, iron, or a red mantle. This is going on with the, um, I think the Golden Dawn. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Deacon observers of the past define the, this deacon as signifying increase accumulation of substance. 
fragility, even greed in one version. The central figure carries a satchel, the golden dawn called this card the Lord of Gain. How do we come by gain? By taking in faster than we expend or, or taking in while not expending at all. This, those successive layers of apparel protect their treasure by encasing it, rendering their subject literally impregnable. And I find that in, interesting that it said impregnable uh, when we have the Empress that's always pregnant, which is, it just, it, what? <laughs> Even the little empress uh, bird has its head covered, which is as much an act of gaining control as offering protection. The falconer hoods his hawk to comet, imposing an artificial night. We can also think of gain as that differential creation created by the outer appearance versus the inner reality, the image we put on in order to meet the world. The question is, does that outer glamour connect us to our, or separate us from that which we seek? And I'm like, holy crap. Again, holy crap. Form versus fiction. When I was young, I, uh, she says, when I was young, my family had a connection with Martha Stewart, blah, 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 blah. Um, okay, I'll read it. Uh, this is before she became Martha Stewart, we all know. As her then-husband was my father's business partner, even then Martha had the most refined of tastes. We would go to parties, occasionally at her home in Connecticut. At one, my stepmother reported seeing in the reception room a beautifully upholstered chair with a rope tied across its arm so no one could would attempt to sit on it. I've always thought of that chair as particularly like the Nine of Pentacles. Here is something I've slaved with hermetic concentration to perfect. But it is for display only. And I was like, whoa. Uh, because I, as a Virgo, we're all about perfection and perfecting things and making sure everything's perfect before. And sometimes we even get frustrated. Oops. Sometimes we even get frustrated that things aren't going our way. And then it, that begged the question to me, who are you, who are you perfecting this for? Is it just for you? And again, there's been a couple of deacons here that it really makes you think and stop and internalize. And and you're like, I'm only doing this for myself. Like my five of ones, it's always stalking me. Again, we come back to that card because um, I see it as conflict with different aspects of self. Who are you fighting? <laughs> and I had to ask that question here. Who are you putting yourself on display for? Why are you putting yourself on display does it matter what other people are thinking of you right now? And it just, I went down a rabbit hole. <laughs> and I'm like, maybe this is my deacon. <laughs> um, use it for its intended purpose and its perfectionist night. Um, <clears throat> okay, let me read that part again. It says, uh, I have slaved with hermetic uh, concentration to perfect, but it is for display only. Use it for its intended purpose and its perfection might crumble. This is function sacrificed on the altar of form. Wow. The Nine of Pentacles has been uh, okay. And then it says a woman alone. When we look at the tri triptych, I can't spell that, triptych of the Empress of Nine of Pentacles and the Hermit, we can see how the Nine of Pentacles partakes of both her constituent majors. She may look a bit like the Empress, Richly dressed in her lush garden, but she is standing with her hand raised like the hermit. And I never noticed these things until, again, I pointed it out in this book, that I never noticed that she she does have her hand raised like the hermit. Just like the hermit. Um, with the bird on it. And as the hermit intently, uh, and as the hermit intently regards his lamp, she re intently regards her bird. In fact, hooded and mercurial as it is this bird might even stand in for the hermit we've spoken of the empress as venus and the hermit as virgo and while venus may rule over this deacon of virgo she is in fall in the sign of virgo so what does what weakness does venus show in the sign and what con compensatory gift does she show in this deacon in a 2019 podcast conversation we had on the deacons austin kopak and i talked a bit about this one in particular, which Austin 
used to illustrate the concept of fall by another one of its names, depression. And I was like, what? <laughs> uh, a kind of trap into which the mind may fall. And I was like, again, connecting head and heart, uh, just head and your physical and just like, what? Uh, this trap, as he suggested, is the Nine of Pentacles, emphasis on perfection of form. And I just went over that, where you keep perfecting and perfecting and perfecting, and something just can never be perfected, and you're stuck in this trap. And to me, of course, the negative part of it is what I saw in the Nine of Pentacles. Um, it finally connected for me in that way. While the Venus and Virgo person may appear perfectly venusian he suggests that they that they may feed profound discomfort feel profound discomfort beneath the exterior so she may look all beautiful and she got all her shit together but underneath she's she's screaming let me out <laughs> because she's on display she's put on this persona for people and i just found that uh, too close for comfort <laughs> Uh, the nine of, uh, the Greeks also describe the state of fall or prison, which highlights another possible weakness. The nine of pentacles draws on the hermit's self-sufficiency, his independence and comfort in solitude. But solitude is not a natural state for the empress, who above all fosters connection and growth. It can be lonely at the top. And then, I j just one little thing here. It says the nine of pentacles and other cards. The good news I found is that the nine of pentacles often seems to be a kind of last stop in the land of unwelcome singledom, very often just in the at the point when you stop needing anyone, that particular someone you gave up on finding just shows up. And that's how I met my husband. I was done with men. And all of a sudden, uh, I was going out with a friend, and she's like, hey, this is my friend. And he was like, she was like, hey, this is my friend. And that's how we met. And it, the rest was history. Crazy. And I knew the second I met him, he was the man I was going to marry. It was just, it, when the fates align and you're on this certain path, uh, that you know is right, you feel it. So real quick, I'm going to read you the poem, Trimming the Stales by Vassar Miller. I move among my pots and pans that have no life except my own, nor warrants save from my flesh and bone that serves my taste and not a man's. I'm jealous of each plate and cup, frail symbol of my womanhood, creator-like I call it good, and vow I will not give up it up. I move among my things and think of woolmen, who for loving care he had for slaves and used wooden ware, and wash my silver in the sink, washing my knives and forks were finer. The Lady Poverty one heart of Francis, her male counterpart, would find in me a sad decliner. Sometimes regrets old dogs will hound me. With feeble barks, yet my true love is brother fire and sister stove, and walls and friends and books around me, yet no renounce your high romance. Being part pain may so to do, prove half humility that you may bless good woman and sweet Francis. I thought that was beautiful. Um, and then I'm really quickly, because I'm almost out of time, I wanted to show you some extra impresses. Um, this is from my um, new... Uh, Egyptian Art Nouveau, and I'm all about the wheat. Discovering the wheat in these cards for some reason. I don't know why, but she's got some wheat here going on. Um, and this is from the Pastoral Tarot. She's got some wheat here, and then she's pregnant, and then there's Gladiolas. I, lo I would love this to be my yard. <laughs> love it. And then we have the Teddy Tarot. Beautiful. And then we have this oracle. Um, it's the, oh my gosh, fairy temple oracle. I just thought that, immediately thought of Empress when I saw this. And it's fresh start, honesty, gentleness, and hope. And that, get, it to me, is the very definition of the Empress. And of course, she's got all this weed around. And then the first card that ever, this is the uh, Elemental Wisdom Tarot. Um, the first card that ever made me think of wheat in connection with the empress and to me wheat is this bountiful um almost a transition into fall 
because you're harvesting it in the fall. Um, and of course it's that deacon, um, cause that's the deacon we're in. Um, it just, it fits for me, but the first time I ever connected wheat with the empress and then here lately I went on this kick with it. It's crazy. Um, is this card. And I actually could, every time I see this card, I can actually see the wheat moving in the breeze. It's just weird. But every time I look at this card, I'm like, I can literally see the wheat moving behind her. Um, it's crazy. But that is De Virgo Deacon 2. I'm sorry it took me so long to get it out. Um, I had a little trouble with this one. And it's funny because it's my Deacon <laughs> uh, for my birthday. So I just found that interesting that I had more trouble with this one. And I do feel a lot closer to it now. I felt really... Like I said in Deacon 1, I felt connected to that immediately because I feel like I am the epitome of the Eight of Pentacles because I'm always working, always striving for perfection, always working hard. Um, but this one was tough. And then once I got into reading it, I'm like, oh, man, they're like, and that could be why I chose not to believe that this was my Deacon because sometimes we don't like to hear the hard truths. And I was hearing some hard truths <laughs> deacon and i'm like yeah that's uh yeah so anyway um that's it for this deacon if you uh i will be posting my um uh oh my gosh the tarot spread that marlena Teresa did next um if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you want to see more please subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification button so you're alerted to any future videos and y'all have a good night bye